everyone. I hope you're all okay and that you are getting up to lots of lovely fun things at home. I've seen some amazing baking going on and some brilliant challenges being completed um, and it's making me smile every day. Um, my challenge for you today is to create your own pom-pom bunny and um, what I will teach you how to do is how to make the pom-poms and how to do the ears and then it's up to you how you decorate the rest. I've decided to put some ears and a nose on mine but you might decide to put a belly on yours or some feet or something like that so I'll go through it with you now. You only need four things, you need some scissors, some wool, some cardboard and a little bit of felt or fabric whatever you've got and then oh and maybe a hot glue gun as well if you have one if not something that can fasten the ears to the wool. Um, I'll go through how you can do it now. Okay so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put our two circles together with the hole in the middle and we are going to take two pieces of wool that are exactly the same length with the end of the wool you're going to place that on the edge of your circle like that. Then what you need to do is you need to pull the wool through the middle and then you're going to take this wool back over the top but diagonally across so then it can hold those two pieces of end in um, place and then just go over the top again so you're threading and you're basically weaving it over into the hole and then out the other side and then over again and then what you'll do is you'll start being able to go around the circle like this and eventually the whole of your circle will be full of this wool. So I've wrapped all of those two pieces of wool round my circle until I've got to the end where the um, wool has run out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut another piece of wool and I'm going to use that and thread that over the top. So with my new piece of wool, I'm going to make sure that I've got two pieces, so I'm going to loop it round and then cut that loop okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the two ends and I'm going to place them next to or on top of the two ends that have finished those two pieces of wool so I'm going to put them over the top and then with my wool I am going to go round and I'm going to diagonally go across all four ends to keep those in place and then that's secure so I can begin to go round and round. So carry on doing that until you have got the whole way around your circle and then I'll show you what to do next. So I've got to the end of my circle now and I've filled the whole thing um, up with wool. What I need to do though to make a really fluffy pom-pom is to make sure that the middle of this circle is really, really small. So I need to keep going round and round in layers until the, little, the middle is really, really tiny. Um, and that will make a fluffy pom-pom. If I cut it now, it will probably be a little bit, um, it'll be a bit of a rubbish pom-pom in all fairness. So I'm gonna keep going round and round. It might take you a little bit of time, but it will be worth it because your bunny needs to be really nice and fluffy, okay? So keep going round until you get to a certain point, which I'll show you in a second. So I've kept going round and round and round and I finally got to this point here. Um, my centre is probably a little bit bigger than I would like but I know that I've got four layers um, and I know that it will probably create a nice pom-pom. You can make keep going round and make yours really small in the middle until you can hardly get your finger through um, and then that will guarantee a really really fluffy pom-pom. Uh, what I need to do is I need to hold on to these um, ends here so that they don't unravel and what my next job is to do is to start cutting my wool um, to create my pom-pom. So to how, how to do that is you um, get your scissors and you might need an adult's help for this because it can be a little bit tricky and also with the scissors they are obviously sharp so I suggest you ask an adult to help you. Uh, what you do is you start cutting away the first few layers of wool um, so you get to your cardboard circles and what you need to do is you need to go in between those circles and then you can cut around the wool 
making sure that you don't cut down here or down here. You're cutting at the point where it's gone over that cardboard because otherwise your pom-pom will be really uneven. When you cut your wool, these strands are now free. So make sure that you hold on to them so that they don't start unraveling because otherwise you will have a very sparse pom-pom. So carry on cutting the whole way around your pom-pom until you have cut all of it. Okay, so now I've cut all of the wool and I have, um, it's all creating that pom-pom shape and I've got the two pieces of cardboard in the middle completely free. So what I'm gonna do with a piece of wool exactly the same color, I'm going to put that in between the two cardboard pieces and I'm gonna pull that round all the way so that they, they meet like that. Okay, so you've got it in the middle of your cardboard. Then I'm gonna tie a knot. And when I tie the knot, it needs to go in between those two cardboard pieces like that. And I need to tie it really tight. And as you see me do that, you could see all of the pieces of wool starting to get pulled into the middle. And that's what keep our, keeps our pom-pom all together. So I'm going to tie a knot and I'm going to tie another one to keep it nice and tight. There we go. Okay, so my pom-pom now is all pulled in and it shouldn't fall, these bits shouldn't fall out because now it's been... Um, completely fastened. So my next part of the job is to rip or cut the cardboard out and peel them away like so. And then I've got my pom-pom. So what I'll do is I will just fluff it up in my hands to make sure that it's nice and round and fluffy. And I will keep these two tails because we need those to attach our two pom-poms together. So once you've done that, I'll tell you what you need to do for the next part. Remember, you need to make two of these for our bunny um, body. And so you're going to need to repeat that twice um, to make two pom-poms for your rabbit um, and I've done that. This one um, is, I went round the circle more times and you can tell that that is a lot denser than this one here. So as I said, make sure that you go round until that centre is really small. I've got my two pom-poms now and I'm going to put them together to make my so rabbit. Now I need to, to attach my two pom-poms together. So I am going to use the tassels that I kept earlier and I'm going to take one from each pom-pom so I'm going to take a tassel from this pom-pom and a tassel from this pom-pom and I am going to tie them together like so and I'm going to do the same for the other side to make sure that it's extra tight there we are so then my two pom-poms are now stuck together so now that's done, I can cut my tassels so that they don't stand out anymore. And I can make sure that I'm happy with my pom-pom. So there's a few little bits on this one that I want to trim just to make sure that my bunny is nice and fluffy. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. So my bunny, like this. What I need to do is I need to make his ears next. So using some felt, I've got some gray here and I've got some pink. I'm gonna make his little ears. So what I'll do is I will, with a pencil or a pen, I will trace out his ears um, pretty roughly. So he's gonna have little round ears like that. And I'll do the same for the other side. So I'm going to cut those out. So I have cut out my bunny ears and I'm going to add some of this pink in the middle just to add a little bit more detail. So I'm obviously not going to make my pink as big. I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller. So I'll draw that out and I'll cut that. And I'll cut those out. So what we need to do now, I've made my bunny ears, I am going to attach them. Um, the way I'm going to attach them is I'm going to use a needle and thread. I'm quite confident with sewing, so for me that's what I cho will choose to do. But you can do a hot glue gun if you have one, or some other type of fastening, um, but I'm going to choose this way. So what you need to do is you need to um, put your bunny ears and you need to make sure that they are nestled a little bit in between some of the wool. If you're using hot glue gun put your glue on 
and pop it in there and hold it into place and do the same with the other one. I'm going to sew mine on now and I'll show you what it should look like. So I've um, now got my little ears attached to my bunny. So I've got my body, I've got my ears and it is up to you how you decorate the rest of him. You might decide to keep him like that because he's quite cute or you might decide to put some eyes on him and a nose maybe or a little belly. I'm going to use some felt to, to decorate mine some more. Like I said before, however you attach it is absolutely fine. If you attach it with a hot glue gun or some glue, it should work exactly the same as if you were stitching it. So I'm going to create mine and decorate it now. So have fun with creating your bunny.